and we're live. Hi everybody, Susan Batchelder here again. We are on our Thursday evening women's hangout. I haven't decided on a whole global title for these regular hangouts, but they're all uh, women on the on this panel, particular panel on Thursday evenings, and uh, so far our topics have been pretty deep. So mm -hmm. make sure you check back often. Today we're going to talk about how to take the lessons learned from struggles and turn them into stepping stones on your journey. Now, I guess the very first concept before you talk about turning the lessons. Um, into the stepping stones is to realize that within every struggle, small or big, there is a lesson. And that's the best way to embrace the, the struggle is look for the lesson within it. So that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to let these gorgeous ladies introduce themselves and then we'll tell our own personal story on this topic. Does anybody want to start? I'll start. Dana and, okay. All right. Hi, guys. Um, I'm Dana Settle. I live in Fort Worth, Texas, and I um, my background is that I'm a physical therapist. Um, I do still practice a little bit, but um, for the most part, I'm pursuing um, this business on the internet. And um, the thing that I've loved about it the most is all the great people that I've met, um, like these ladies right here. I would have never met. Uh, fantastic women like Anna and Susan had I not um, kind of taken a chance and started something that I knew nothing about three years ago. It's when I first got started in the, in the internet marketing and just learning about it. And um, um, I, I'm absolutely falling in love with it. Uh, I'm loving doing these hangouts and um, getting to know the women better and, and all the people on our team. Um, love what I do and thank you Susan for having me on tonight. Thanks for coming. Mm -hmm. Great, Dana. Um, yes, thank you, Susan, for, for having me on. My name is Anna Linehan, and I am from Newburyport, Massachusetts. And for those who may not know where that is, uh, most people know Boston, Mass. So I'm like 50 miles north of Boston and um, on the uh, border of New Hampshire. And previously, I've done quite a bit, actually. Um, I did corporate in the human resources capacity for 20 plus years. We'll just leave it at that. And then after that, I've owned a couple of different uh, businesses um, in the salon and spa arena. And most recently, this and prior to that or after that, I was uh, working with real estate investing. So I did that for a couple of years. And most recently, this is what I'm doing now, really, um, full time, which is internet marketing and part of this amazing community. And like Dana, I feel very blessed um, to be here and love everybody that I've gotten to to meet. And I'm looking forward to to just so much more of it and making a difference. Awesome, thank you, Anna. Um, and for anyone that's watching and doesn't know my story, uh, I was a critical care registered nurse for 15 years and I absolutely loved it. Um, long hours, not easy at all, but it was, it was my passion and it, the, the money wasn't even an object. I mean, it was enough to pay the bills, but it was just something I was so passionate about. There was something about saving lives that I just absolutely loved. Then uh, in 2005, I was in a car accident, and life as I knew it completely changed. So it took me six years to kind of figure out, sort out. I had trouble within the, interestingly enough, even as a critical care nurse, I was having trouble getting a medical diagnosis. I ended up traveling um, to the States three times and over to India, so there was there was, if that kind of took up some time and then sorting out how was I going to treat this. I cannot raise my kids by myself stuck in bed, which is where I was for, the, for much of that time. So once I sorted that out, then there came that deciding point. Okay, how do I make money now? I can't do a physical job and I went through all my options and that's what brought me online. So I came online with two purposes, to financially 
support and provide the life for my children and also to tell my story because I am aware that there's many people in the same kind of struggle as I was in whether it's a single parent an injury a disability that's either making work uh, like their physical nine-to-five job uh, a challenge or a discomfort or they can't work and they're stuck on social assistance and we all know that that is not a comfortable that doesn't provide a real comfortable living so when I first came online with that strong purpose and started with just affiliate marketing here and there I well how do I engage this passion with just selling products so there was that kind of lost period for about eight months and then I found Empower Network and everything changed and then I found some other small micro communities within Empower Network where the culture is even thicker and all three of us here we're all in uh, Project AWA which is just a shockingly beautiful culture of people and that's what brings us here and it just keeps on getting more amazing every day so hence these topics because this is something that we're all familiar with like nobody is immune to struggles we all have different struggles and we all have our own journey mm -hmm. sometimes we get lost with within it we're like mulling it over in our mind or even if we listen to audios and we read books there's only so much of uh, resolving and lessons that we can learn on our own through that style of sorting and what I found is really powerful is somebody else's story mm -hmm. it might not be like our story but you can relate to either the pain of their story how they mm -hmm. got themselves out of that story um, how they are walking within it like how they're telling their story there'll be some piece that we can relate to and that might be the light that we need to see that might be uh, a clue that we need it might open the door for us that we didn't know was open and so that's what's really powerful and the other really interesting thing about this having this avenue where um, I just mentioned because Dana and I have been on one hangout together before and this is the first time I've met Anna so we had a couple words on Facebook we've probably seen each other around but just a few minutes before we went live to record this hangout was the first time that our eyes met now I've watched her on other hangouts I've watched her in the live episodes of um, the reality show which is really awesome but uh, we've not met and had a conversation so with this human movement in social media and with this kind of culture in this community I am actually a bit at a loss for words as to how incredible it is so that's that's my take on it I love your term awesome. it's a human movement I I mm -hmm. absolutely love that you said that last week and I just it just really grabbed me because of the the um, just the power of the words itself this is a human movement um, its relationship and we've always heard that um, you know why are you in business you're really not in business to make money you're in business to help somebody you're in business for relationships and that's what keeps a, pe a person in business is the relationships that they form but this is going beyond that to me um, th this is a human movement and, and particularly the, the business and the system that we're doing is so empowering to people because of what we can do to open the doors to them to actually truly change their lives I mean truly change their lives it, it's just a really amazing I've seen so much transformation just in our little small group just even the last three months I've seen so many people grow in tremendous ways that I I'm I'm totally blown away by it and when I see them grow it, it gives me just a boost you know because mm -hmm. we all have down days and this is what our subject matter is tonight you know we all have struggles and when you talk to someone else you're, you're not relating to them because well it's struggle to struggle but yet it's like they give you energy I mean people give each other energy we give each other energy and I there's one uh, one of the guys in our group and, and he struggles with depression and um, I hadn't seen him much on Facebook lately and I just sent him a little PM and 
he said he was really having some hard times. And so we chatted back and forth. We prayed with each other back and forth. And he said, Dana, I cannot tell you what this did for me today. And I just started bawling. I mean, I just broke down so bad. And he didn't know I was crying, but but I was. And um, he's a runner, and I'm a runner. And, and so um, I said, I can just see you out you know, running and running with the wind and laughing and smiling and, 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 and I said, I'm getting ready to go for a run, so I want you to do the same thing. And we just had the best interaction today. It was like the best part of my day. And it was a chat on Facebook. But I felt like I was connected to him talking on the phone. And it made my day better. It really did. I mean, I, like I said, it was the best part of my day today. I'm just glad I got to tell you guys about it. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. So you made a decision to put yourself out there and and connect and not just focus on like just a lighthearted text. Like you actually put the energy out there. So then yeah. therefore you could feel the energy back. Exactly. That's cool. Exactly. I yeah. totally understand how you're feeling, Dana, because I think I had a similar experience um, today. Actually, over the last, it's been over the last week, and I know we're talking about the same person, so I feel it. Um, you know, I feel it in my heart. And it, it was similar because it, it's, it's a type of community where we're just not, I mean, we all have so much to do as far as if you're just looking at, you know, growing business. It's a business, right? So we still have things that we need to do and and all that. But when you when you see that someone is in need, you, like everything else, kind of takes a back seat, and you're just mm -hmm. you you care about them, and you want to make sure that they're okay, and and that becomes the primary focus. And Absolutely. obviously, it was for you. It, you know, it was for me. We keep um, missing each other on the phone, even you know watching the show and it's like hey you know I'm you know even just doing hey you know what I'm thinking of you just mm -hmm. wanted to say hi I'm Absolutely. thinking of you yeah and that can just make a huge difference on and when someone is going through a hard time so just being able to think about it and think about someone else other than yourself you just never know mm -hmm. the impact you're having on the other end so yeah. I, totally. I truly believe that because that's our culture within the community as a whole and then within the smaller communities within Empower Network, it attracts the kind of people that want to mm -hmm. help others and want to provide a better life, to live another way of life, not only for themselves, but to help their their own personal circle, like their own family, and then extended people, it's it's shocking every day the kind gestures, just like the story that you guys have told that that happen. And I I truly think that it um, it is because of the culture it attracts those kind of people, and even like people attracts that come like. in, yeah, even people that come in and aren't usually like that, I think it finds it within them because it's there. I agree. It's just not been awakened. I totally agree. Totally agree. And you know, sometimes it could be it doesn't have to be something huge, but it could be just, you know, like one of the things that uh, you know, I noticed so I I pointed out gently pointed out, but you know, um, this person was referring to their situation, you know, I'm in a you know clinical depression or whatever you want to call it at this point. It's like, you know what? But but I'm you know but I'm feeling better and so I was like you know what stop giving it a voice by referring to it all the time start mm -hmm. focusing on you are feeling stronger today you are feeling happier today that's mm -hmm. what you need to focus on don't don't give it any more voice by mm -hmm. just keep mm -hmm. referring to it so sometimes even just something like that mm -hmm. that can make a difference that somebody's not necessarily you know thinking or or even aware of but can have an Im impact on them and ourselves too sometimes it yeah. when you're when you're telling someone else then it's kind of you know reflective to yourself and kind uh, of like that as well. like that uh, learn apply it teach it and by taking that third step and teaching it or sharing it with someone else you learn it even better yourself totally 
Well, and being, I was just going to say, being a physical therapist, um, you're kind of a psychologist with people, too, because when they're coming in in a lot of pain and, um, you know, having gone through, Susan, I know you've been through therapy before, and so you you are like, you're listening to them because maybe the doctor gives them five minutes. Well, you have an hour and a half with them. I mean, you get into some deep stuff, and a lot of the patients that I've seen lately, they, they're, they're, a lot of them are chronic pain patients, and they're on a lot of medication, and you get in this spiraling down uh, of yourself, and, and like it's it, you're hopeless, and you know. And so one of the things I remember, um, several of my friends are psychiatrists, and one of the things that they tell patients and psycho psychologists too is, you've got to do something for someone else. You've got to give something because it takes the thought off of you because then you're not the focus just like you were saying Anna you're not the focus of the problem anymore and so so many of these patients I've talked with them about what do you like to do I mean what and I have to pull this out of them what do you like to do and uh, do you like animals well yeah I have three dogs I really love walking my dog he said what, if, what about going and volunteering at the animal shelter just one hour a week Go do something for someone else, and you you would be so surprised. It's some of the best medicine around. And that's what I feel like this group is, because we do things, and we say positive things, and we have kind of an unwritten rule. We don't say anything negative in our group, which I love, because I've never been around stuff like that as much. I mean, in work situations, you know, it's always complaining everywhere. But, but in this kind of group, we don't complain. We're positive. We, you know, we give good comments to people. Um, it, it's just very nurturing, and and that's that's just such a positive about this whole culture, like we're talking about this human movement. And you know what? If you do that repeatedly, it rubs off in your just your everyday life. You start doing that with your kids, your family, your your neighbors, everybody you're around. That positive um, feeling you have, that positive. Um, energized feeling starts just spilling over in your whole life and isn't that what you want I mean isn't that what we all want you know wouldn't that completely turn someone's life around if you were doing that for them and they're like wow I want to be I want to be with that group of people I, I feel good when I'm talking to them you know it just it changes the way you look at struggle it changes the way you look at a at a that you're having a really bad awful day well golly you can take something out of that and it can flip in an instant it can flip it's truly in an instant if you have the right mindset so sorry I kind of went on about that but it just it just triggered something in my head and I just had to kind of get it out so <laughs> <laughs> that's good that's what this is all about um, Sam Crowley said um, something I think it was two weeks ago on the Empower Hour when he talked, and he said, um, it'll be paraphrased, because uh, I'm just going by memory, but something about uh, if, you're, if you're just in the business, you'll run your business a certain way. But if the business is in you, oh yes, that, I is, that. When, that is when you'll really take off. So literally, if, if, if it's inside you, so if you've found your purpose and you've found your passion, and yes. the business is in you, that is when mm -hmm. you will move down your path towards your goal with a, a much different pace. Mm -hmm. And that's, that. that's kind of what happens. Like we're, we're a bunch of crazy, weird, passionate people all meeting in the same place. And <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, he was awesome. He had so many good things to say. He's a very good speaker. He is, yeah. I've been watching all of his stuff that's coming out. I'm subscribing to him. I love his stuff. Yeah. I love his stuff. Great. Do you have his book? No, I don't, and that's on my list. I don't have it. In fact, I was watching one of his videos today, and I have the title written down, and so, yeah, that's definitely one of all I want to get. Yeah, good. And I like, I like his, his why. Like, his why was, mm -hmm. and as he shared it, and I, I've heard him share it before because, we're on the we're on the same team, like the same whatever sponsored team. Mm -hmm. So I've heard him share it before, but you know, I think he's more passionate. 
just of the last six weeks because he shared it differently. I could have even been the same words, but it resonated differently with me. Uh, I think how he, he came is out too. with his why. Like I, I think he is too. I noticed that, I and mean, he had his new whiteboard up in his office. And yeah. He was all excited about it. Oh my gosh, he was just he was just the great, and he is so down to earth. Yeah. He is just like he is, you know? One you of my think? topics this week was uh, keeping it real and why your story matters. And that that really is yeah. what, what we should do. Just be ourselves, right? Uh -huh. That's yeah. how people will resonate and relate with us. Just share, get our essence out there. Sometimes it's hard with, typed, with our typed words. Um, I know I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to craft much better and much more personal emails to my list and to my team, but it's still it's still a thing. Like words can only do so much. So mm -hmm. yeah. I often just throw these hangouts in there. Um, yeah, just even if you can't listen to the whole twenty or thirty minutes, just get part of this conversation. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you wouldn't want to watch the whole thing, but <laughs> that's just me. <laughs> you know, not everybody has the whole time, so I do try to keep them under. 30 minutes, but there's something about the engagement of of conversation that that brings out people's passions, which is why we all enjoy the the calls and the audio so much, right? The empower well, we hours, the vision. You know, who wants to? Who who doesn't like to be a fly on the wall somewhere? Yeah. You know, you're a fly on the wall when somebody watches this conversation between the three of us. They're actually sitting in on our conversation and listening to it. That's right. And it's so easy to join us. All they have to do is click the link below and they could be on the panel with us. Absolutely. <laughs> totally. Just like that. Because <laughs> we welcome Quick everybody. Decision. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Just choose another way of life for you and we'll show you how. Mm -hmm. You just have to have the why. The rest shows up. Right? Yes. Very much so. Once you... Yeah, that's all you have to find is your why, and it's all, the rest all comes. Do you have anything else to add, Anna? Well, um, I, I, I was going off on a, somewhere else. I was, one of the things that kept coming up for me is that um, when you were talking about how you feel that um, Sam Crowley has is, is changed, you know, in the last few weeks, and I couldn't help but but wonder whether that's totally him or could it be you as well and where you're at and how your perception is. How do you feel about that? I think at times, you know, we can we can listen to the same exact thing, but depending on where we are in our life and it could resonate totally different. So I was just I think I was thinking about that. Um, that is a good point. You know, that I think you know, it just might be also that it's it's having more meaning for you based on, you know, your journey and where you're at right now is probably very much different even than it was just six weeks ago knowing how this community works and how much we're growing. So it could just be part of both growths, yours exactly. and, and, and his. So. Good point. Yeah. When you watch a movie the second or third time, you get... It, it totally. Matters. You feel different parts of it because of where you are in your life journey. You know, you may not you may not be as moved in a certain part of it, but that's yeah, that's a great point, Anna. It really is. Yeah, it yeah. fits in with a lot of angles. Um, for example, I when I first started just over a year ago, um, I caught up with the old inner circle, so I watched them or I listened to them from the beginning and then of course being on the Empower Hour live every Monday, and then every day of the week I would choose a different inner circle to listen to. So it was always something, one of them was played every day. And mm -hmm. then I decided a few months ago to go back and re listen from the beginning again. Now, a mm -hmm. year has passed, and wow, I, I've grown and changed and evolved so much. And so I took completely different things out of those inner yep. circles and mm -hmm. even my notes because I'm just a real note taker so if I am like in this if I'm doing something while I'm listening to it to it then of course I'm not taking notes but if I'm sitting at the computer 
while I'm listening to it, then something will just like resonate with you, so then I'll quickly add it to the note. So I would have open my notes from previous times of listening to it, and I would always have more to add. So it's kind totally, of Totally, because you're picking out different pieces because they're resonating with you more right yeah. then. I think even if somebody, I, I feel that if somebody was just to open up this um, hangout, and they didn't have enough time to watch the whole thing and they're going to kind of click and go through but they're going to go to that spot whether it's Dana or whether it's you Susan or me whoever whichever one of us has that piece that's going to resonate with them that has that piece that they need to listen to so I feel that that happens and I think that happens when we're listening to different things we pick out the different things that that we're needing to to hear right then you know that we need at that moment. That's how I feel about it. I I agree. That's a really awesome point. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. Um, <laughs> I wonder if timing-wise, this is probably a good time to say to say goodbye because I really love that point. So I'd like to end with that kind of thought mingling. Sounds great. You guys Sounds have anything great. else you want to add? No. Uh, you know, I was just going to tell you again, thank you, Susan. Um, I, I've i been a little bit, I mean, in the beginning when we started um, doing, when Google Hangout kind of became a thing to do, I remember watching some of them and thinking, oh my gosh, I could never be a speaker on there. I mean, I look blue and I talk weird and, you know, I don't want to be on the film and I'll say something dumb and blah, blah, blah. You know, all this bad self-talk. And then I start seeing more and more people doing it. And then I got on one and I said a little bit. And then I got on another one I said a little bit more. And then I did the one la last week. And it was so fun, Susan. It was so fun because it was just casual talk. But we were talking about something important. But it was fun because it was just four of us. And we all connected really well. And the thing flowed nicely. Just like tonight and so what this has done for me and I just want to tell you I feel more confident after this hangout I, feel much better. <laughs> I know thank you because I'm feeling like you know now I mean I wasn't all nervous about oh my gosh I've got to get on this call at 930 and I'm gonna be filmed and all this I didn't even have that worry coming into this call tonight and normally I would be I'm like jotting all these notes down what am I gonna say about struggle and but no, you just you, you let down your guard and you just trust in the process. And that's for me one of the things that I really had to just let go. I know Teresa, one of the ladies in our group, talked about that on a different hangout a couple of weeks ago. It's just letting go. You know, don't hang on so tightly. You squeeze the life out of things. I know I have the problem of doing that. And so just letting go and letting it happen, let the process take its place and I've done two hangouts now, and I feel good about it. And thank you for letting me do that. <laughs> thank you, because you just awesome. made my day. <laughs> I well, didn't really. my mission. Um, I, I should have kept track. Maybe I should go back and look. But I have nagged and bugged and bugged people who were nervous and afraid to get on hangouts. So it's been my mission to bring people out who are afraid to get on Hangouts because I had a video phobia and it took me months to work through it and to get on these and now I'm addicted and I just I would have never, to be on them every day. I would never so, think you have a video phobia. Look at you. I, I know. know. Incredible. I was, I was so nervous and I oh would record gosh. videos and then I would delete them. I would, <laughs> not, I would not publish them and if I did oh. publish them I would end up taking them off. I was incredibly nervous. So, oh my gosh. so for that reason, because that was my struggle and I didn't want anyone else to feel that, so I've pulled out lots of people who were uncomfortable and thank you for sharing that. You just really made my day. Well, you made mine. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, it's, I have to say that with each one it gets, you know, a little bit easier because it certainly was not, it's not, it is still not, not easy for me and it, you know, I think it also depends, like like tonight I'm feeling very sort of laid back. I, 
I'm feeling actually a little too laid back and I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because it's, it's a little late. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, um, I guess what I've gotten from these is that it, it feels more like we're just sitting here, you know, it's just three friends just chit-chatting mm -hmm. and, um, you know, talking about the things that, that we go through in life and the things that, that are affecting our lives right now and it's kind of cool. You know, to but just be able to do that. So thank you, Susan, for having <laughs> me on. I guess that goes back to the human movement. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> sure does. Full circle. Yeah. Thank you. And for everybody watching, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. It might be you might have found this video on either one of the three of us. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you subscribe to the channel. Share some feedback if there's comments by, and there'll be a link below. Just get in touch with us. We'd love to have you. Bye. Yes. Bye. -bye.